Hi guys, it's Robert. So today's DIY project celebrates spring with a little bit of a twist on a holiday tradition. I want to show you how to assemble a living Easter basket. And if you like this idea and want to see more, I invite you to subscribe to my own channel by following the link in the video description below. Now traditionally here in the US, we fill our Easter baskets with shredded paper or plastic grass for our eggs and our chocolate rabbits. But I love the idea of filling a basket with live plants so that after the holiday is over, you can transplant them to your yard or container garden. Now the first thing you'll want to do is select your basket. Baskets are available in a wide range of colors, materials, and sizes. I'm actually using a really simple wicker basket that I've had since I was a kid. It has a lot of sentimental value and I love taking it out of storage every year. Next, we're going to line our baskets. Now I went to my local floral supply and found these great pressed paper liners. I love these because they're biodegradable and they're also recyclable if you choose. Liners also come in plastic forms, but if you can't find one, know that you can just as easily line the interior of the basket with a plastic garbage bag. Now you're gonna need to take a field trip to your local nursery or garden center to get your soil and to pick out your plants. Now there are a lot of options when it comes to plants and it's going to vary according to where you live. I came away with some really beautiful springtime flowers. I've selected snapdragons, pansies, and violas. When you're back home, fill your liner about a third of the way full with soil, then take a few of your plants and arrange them on top. Once you're happy with their placement, you can loosen up the roots and press them gently down into the soil. Now I could easily fill the entire basket with plants, but I do want to leave room for eggs, so I'm just using three. Fill the area around the plants with additional soil and press it down gently. Now we're going to moisten the soil, but you do want to be certain not to overwater. This temporary home you're creating for these plants does not have drainage holes. Now I'm going to surround the plants with some moss. You can use live or preserved moss, and what this does is cover up the dirt, conceal the liner, and create a little bit of cushion for your Easter eggs. I love these living Easter baskets. They make beautiful centerpieces for the two to three weeks around the holiday, and then they make a great addition to your outdoor garden. I do hope you'll give this project a try. If you celebrate Easter, I want to wish you a very happy one. Thank you so much for watching and join me next time for another great DIY.